Hi, welcome to Lady Lovely Locks, and today I'm going to show you how I style this beautiful wig called Dorothy by Uniwigs. She is a hand-tied cap. She has that double mono lace top with no lace front, which I love because a lot of lace fronts make me itchy. She's 100% human hair. She's 16 inches long, and she is called Espresso Brown. Now what I'm going to show you here is how I style her. Now keep in mind that I'm not an expert. I'm just someone who's been wearing wigs for a while. And this is what I do to help my wigs out. It might work for you. It might not. Now I do realize that in this video it might not show a complete difference a complete difference in how I style the wig but for all intents and purposes this is what I do to make a wig look more realistic now you can either do this on a mannequin and pin it down or you can do what I do and this way I just get a better visual of how it looks on me and I just figured it was better to film this way because this is how I knew how to do it but typically what I do is I will pluck through the top and I will flip over the hair as so you just I couldn't find my little uh, rat comb so I used what I could just to kind of pluck and then shift the part pluck shift the part but I just wanted to show you the basics of what I do to thin out the top of the hair just to make it look a little more realistic now you guys know me if you watch my channel and I get very sensitive with lace fronts and so the fact that I was offered this wig um, to review by Uniwigs, I just absolutely loved. I feel like it was a perfect wig for me to review because I love a good wig that's not a lace front. And I've learned some tips and tricks along the way on how to make it look more natural. Now, given that this shade of brown is a little darker than my natural um, hair color, I would recommend wearing this color if it's not natural for you with darkening your eyebrows and some makeup which I do plan on doing in a future video but for this I just wanted to show you how I style it now what I'm using right here is called a hot comb it ended up it, it worked a little bit on this piece but I like it because if you're trying to make the wig not look so voluminous I usually take my human hair wigs into the wig professionals over at um, designer wig outlet with um, Haley and her group but I was trying to do this on my own save a little money and be able to make this video with this beautiful wig so I was trying to use this myself so I am still learning about it so you can leave as many comments as you want about how terrible I am at curling hair and I'll probably agree with you so to me, you know, I like to wear pieces that are flattering and make me look young and saucy. And I think, you know, when you wear wigs, that definitely adds youth to your face. 